Hello, my lovely gods and goddesses. This is Beauty Goddess Bridget. My name is Bridget Scaloma, and I am 61 years old, and I love color. And tonight, we are doing uh, two new products. We are doing the Nomad Whistler's palette, which looks like this. And we are do doing Unique Foundations Magnetic Eyelashes, and these are the lashes that we're doing. And as always, I'm also live on Facebook. And so... Yes, I do think that we're going to get uh, snow and stuff. Uh, I, can, I can just feel it in my back and knees and everywhere. <laughs> it's coming. And it's not going to be fun. Okay, so this is a palette that I'm going to be using. And I absolutely love Nomad. Everybody knows I love Nomad. And I love the colors on it. Um, and while I do like the red, this color up here, I'm not going to be using the red tonight. I think I'm going to stay in the blues and the greens, maybe the gold, but, uh, we'll see. Uh, I will give you the names. I may not always show you which ones were going on, but I will be doing Snowmad, which is the really super dark blue. I will be doing, uh, black comb which is this kind of metallic shimmery blue probably snow bunny and this one down here on the bottom which is ski bum and um, I'm thinking of Whistler because it's kind of a you know shimmery because I like shimmery stuff and um, after that well we'll see how it goes so <laughs> um. I always, uh, I've always got my blood supply handy, always, Dr. Pepper, you know, when I can find it. Of course, when you're on the East Coast, it's hard to find in restaurants. <laughs> it made me mad, too. Oh, we don't have Dr. Pepper, but we've got root beer. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I used to travel with, uh, <clears throat> with my ex, who was a truck driver, and uh, yeah, I, I heard that a lot. So anyway, we are going to start with uh, Snowmad, the dark blue. And, uh, of course, we'll go in pretty light, even though it's very heavily pigmented. And it is the darkest blue in the palette. We'll start with that in the crease, and we'll see. Uh, yeah. We'll see how it goes. And it is dark. Woo! Wowzers! I don't know if we're necessarily going to get a lot of snow here, but um, I do know we're expecting three days, three days, and that's from the National Weather Service, not local weatherman. So I tend to put a little bit more stock in their predictions. They're pretty, pretty spot on around here. They have to be because of, you know, tornadoes and what have you around. Hi, Jay. Yeah. He don't have any pants on. Hey, Jane. He doesn't have any pants on. <laughs> yeah, he does. He just got in from work. He's got pants on. Trust me. Hey, Linda. Okay, why do you have makeup on your head? Uh, what? Yeah, what makeup? Yeah, fucking rich in the top of her head. Oops. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know about that. What do you guys think about that? Is that not a pretty color? Oh, really moly. Don't wipe makeup off on me. I like it. I like it. <laughs> hey, Renee. Renee Cryer is here. Holy cow. This is beautiful. Oh, I am loving this color. And you don't need a whole lot of... Um, don't need a whole lot on it either. Woo. I just dipped, tapped a couple of times into the color, and that was it. Yeah, we got pork chops. Oh, so we're having pork chops tonight? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. You're loving all the red? <laughs> I'm a red kind of girl. <laughs> I love this blue. Hi, Bridget. How are you? I'm doing some makeup tonight. Uh, I am doing 
Nomad Cosmetics, the Whistler palette. Oh, it's beautiful. We can pour for The red in the palette uh, looks almost like terracotta plants. <laughs> you know, those little pots for, for yeah. I told uh, I told Felicia, who is the uh, the owner of Nomad Cosmetics, I said, I don't want to go around looking like a, a flower pot. <laughs> I don't know on that. I I don't know, Ben. I don't know. Yeah. So okay, let's do this side now. I always have trouble getting this side to match the other side. Not sure why that is. Anybody anybody got any ideas on that? It's like I it's like I dip the same amount, but it's like it doesn't want to blend as well. It doesn't look as good. And I always have to do some more. Crazy. Well, it's it's kind of a kind of a like a dark burnt orange. That's how it comes out looking on me. At least it did on my swatches last night. And I'm like, really, really. And it was like, yeah, really. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, we don't want that. So. Oh, Bridget, uh, you are new to my my lives. Uh, just so you know, I do a YouTube channel, and I do make up uh, stuff on that YouTube channel. So just kind of an FYI there. I, I go live on Facebook, and I record it while I'm while I'm uh, doing it for YouTube. Is that blue not just Gorgeous. I love it. Hey, Ethel. Hey, Ethel. Let me show you what the what this red it, and it's called red and it's called for fox sake. Fox F O X. Uh for fox sake. And this is how it looks on my finger, but when I swatched it, it turned orange. And so uh yeah, that was a no. I mean, it would look all right with some colors. And I'm not going to say that it that it looks bad, but it's not going to look good with my standard red. <laughs> no, just no. <laughs> okay, so the next color that I'm going to go in with is going to be black comb, which is uh, this. Ah! Yeah, okay, I'm going to have to do that. Uh, this blue right here, right here. And um, I don't even know if I've got another. Yeah, I do. I've got another mirror right here. <clears throat> dun dun, rescued. <laughs> it's very orangey. And, and see what I mean about it looking like a, a, a flower pot? <laughs> yeah, no. We're not going to do that. We're just not going to do that. Okay, so um, where was I? Oh, yeah, the uh, black comb, which is a really beautiful 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 blue shimmery look looking color and that's going to be the next one that we're going to do and we're going to put that this half the outer half on the lid and I've got a packing brush hey, look at that is that not pretty is that not really really pretty colors love it love it love it love it <laughs> and I might do that. I might I might make me some tiger stripes <laughs> for the Bengals, you know, for the game. You never know with me. You just never know. Oh, that's a nice color. Can you guys see that? <gasps> oh, I'm in love. I am so in love with that. Can you guys see that? How much sparkle that's got? Let me zoom in just a little bit over here. I'll scare you guys with my big face. <laughs> okay, so get some more. Use the red for highlighting. Now I may use the uh, up to snow good, the other red that's in the palette. It's more like a kind of a burgundyish almost. I may use that one. 
Oh, I love, 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 love it. Love it. It is so beautiful. Oh. That is so beautiful. I'm loving that color. Now on the inside here, I'm going to do Ski Bum, which is the light blue on the bottom row. That's what I'm going to do on the next. You like the blue? Yeah, it really wouldn't look very good with this one. Okay, so this packer brush on this light blue, and let's see what kind of a look we get with this. It is also shimmer. Oh, that is nice. What do you guys think of these colors? I like it. I like it. This one is called Ski Bum, this color. So, and I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take. Mm, I don't know. Gosh, it's so tough. It is so tough sometimes to decide which colors to play with. Um, I think on the top, I will take Ski in, which is the upper, this color right here. Kind of a shimmery uh, pearl color, actually. It's really, really a very nice color, and I think that's the one I'm going to take next. Stay. I like to boss my my. Uh, I like to boss my palettes around. <laughs> Blue's your favorite. I like a lot of different colors. I'm 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 very uh, very happy to experiment with various color combinations. Uh, just to see what I get, just to see what I come up with here. Oh, that is pretty. What do you guys think of that? That is a pretty color, I think. A really pretty color. I should probably scoot over just a little bit so I get a better, better look on my camera over here. a pearl, pearly color. Hey Jerry, how are you? Green? Should I put some green? Hmm. You know what? I may see. Let me see if I can cut crease that with green. Should I do the really dark green? I don't know if that would show up on the blue or the kind of mintish sparkly green. one right here. Let's see what I can get going here. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that really well up close, that green. Can you see that? You like that? I love that. Let's see if I can this way. See if I get that. There we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can't make it look a little better over here. Well, I like them and I can use some of them. You like the pop of green? I do too. It's a really nice, nice color here. And it shows up really well. I'm really surprised at how well it's showing up on top of that dark blue. So, 
I'm going to say that is a win. What do you guys think, huh? You like pop green and and um, you think it's pretty? All right, I think that I think that did well. Okay, now for under under my eye. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with the black comb, which is that really sparkly one that I used on this brush. 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 Um, <laughs> I'm going to switch to this brush right here. Now this is the one that I had the uh, opalescent color on. And I'm going to see if I can use that to, to go under the eye to create that look. You like it? You like it, Bridget? I have so much fun doing this. I really do. And, you know, once I had been doing uh, the paparazzi lives for as long as I did, switching to the makeup was really not that difficult for me uh, on the whole. It really wasn't. Um, <clears throat> but I've never had anybody watch me when I apply makeup before. And so that was a little unnerving. <laughs> but, um. I think overall I, I, I've done fairly well with applying makeup when people are watching me. And um, I do every now and then uh, collabs with other YouTubers and uh, we apply, you know, we do our looks with various palettes and then we get together and decide, you know, what palette we want to work with and go from there. And sometimes we do palette bingos and uh, one of us chooses colors that we have to use or a picture that we have to use. We have a lot of fun. And those are uploaded only to YouTube. I don't do those live here. But um, <clears throat> they're same basic concept. They just uh, aren't done on, in my lives. I post the links for those, though. So uh, anytime you want to check out my channel, that's pretty cool, too. It's Beauty Goddess Bridget, so it's pretty easy to pretty easy to find because, you know, we spell our name the same way. <laughs> You'll show yourself out. <laughs> Smarty pants. <laughs> okay. Now, did I put it up here? I don't know if I did. I thought I did. I'm very, oh, here it is. My desk is very cluttered. What can I say? Um, unique eyeliner pencil. I'm going to do it's. This one is black. I'm going to do that on my waterline. Well, it's called Perfect. I think is the name of the color. And for anybody who's watching on YouTube, everything will be in the description box below. Everything I've used, everything including primer I used on my face. Uh, which, by the way, I think I'll do a little quick little review for you guys for this for that on here while I'm when I get finished with my look. Um, I'll pull out my box of my bag of stuff that I've I've used, and I'll just talk about the primer. Because. Uh, uh, the face primer that I used today, I am not very happy with. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, now. The new stuff. Unique, magnetic, liner, and lashes. So, we'll see if... Maybe I won't glue my eyes shut with these. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I, I, I will tend to glue my eyes shut. Okay, this goes over here in my box of stuff I'm trying for the for a month or so, uh, where I'll be reviewing all of that. So, let's see. Ooh. 
Okay, the last magnetic lash liner that I tried made my eyes real itchy. I don't know what was in it. Something made my eyes itch really, really bad. So let's see if this does the same. Now I will say this, I do like the concept. That is an absolute given because hopefully it will keep me from, you know, using la the lash glue and, um, I don't know, glue my shut because, you know, I'm talented that way. Uh, as a matter of fact, the last time I did lashes, regular lashes, um, I did kind of have to pull my eyes apart. <laughs> um, you know, welcome my universe people where everything goes not according to plan. Uh, <laughs> it rarely goes according to plan. <laughs> <clears throat> just saying, you know, my universe. Where my husband gets seen sometimes naked in the background. That was funny. Come on, admit it. Admit it, Jane. That was hilarious. <laughs> uh, it was so funny. Uh, for those of you that don't know the story, um, I was doing a live one night. And it was just a chat. Kind of a chat deal. And, uh... Jane said that she wanted to see more of Jay. And I thought, oh my God, she has no idea what she's what she's saying. Because, uh, yeah, Jay took that and he just ran with it. And um, the next thing we know, one night I'm just talking. Jay's in the background getting ready for bed. And every other night in history... He would shut the light off and then get undressed and climb into bed. Well, on this night, Mr. Stud Muffin back here, <laughs> lights on, you could see, because I didn't have the panel screen, I didn't have anything up over here, you could see everything behind me, so you could see just that little sliver into the bedroom where he was standing and he dropped his pants. <laughs> And I was like, ah, no, no, I covered up the carriage, hey, everybody can see you. And he turned around and it was a full frontal assault for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and I was kind of like, you seen enough now, Jane? <laughs> you seen enough of him now? <clears throat> Just saying. Okay, we got a little bit of a problem with my lashes want to stick together here. <clears throat> and sorry about the interruption with the ding here. Uh, anyway, oh. Oh no, this is going to be one of those, one of those packages that's going to be like impossible for me to open. <laughs> now let's see if I don't cut myself with this, <laughs> an exacto, an artist exacto knife, as a matter of fact, for arts and crafts. I'm dangerous with stuff, just so you guys know. Uh, yeah, I'm really dangerous with stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> Just saying. Uh, okay. So these are the lashes that we're doing. I think they're really pretty. And this is a nice case. <laughs> I mean a really nice case. Alright, let's see how bad we can we can Oh, this is even better than I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see this right here? It's a little like a little metal band in the case. To hold the lashes on so that they don't have to be stuck on our, like a glue thingy. Awesome. Okay, this one's going to be the left eye. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's see. Is <laughs> Only Jay. Yeah, only Jay. You needed to laugh tonight? Well, you know, stick around because my universe is like that all the time. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get this on without, um, without poking myself in the eye here. Okay, so far, so good. But anyway, that, that's how it goes here in my universe. As you'll find out, Bridget. <laughs> oh, do you guys, what do you think? They're not too overpowering, too... Uh, they're not lashes that will make me crazy with being way too big. Although they are kind of on the, the larger side. 
it's not going to be way too big. And I like, if you don't like where they sit, you can move them. Because why? It's magnetic. There we go. Whatever was bugging mine now is out. What do you think? I'm kind of sort of digging that. I really am. Get my Fenty Beauty mascara. All right, notifications. I turned my sound off. Why are you bugging me? Just saying. Yeah. And my dog wants in in the backyard. So apparently, AJ let them out and then went to the shower. Knowing full well that I was live. This is how my universe works, people. Okay. I love my Fenty. Fenty Beauty Mascara. Ah. This is what I like, Ethel. That right there, that they don't look fake. They don't look uh, over overpowering. I mean, they're they're they are long, a little bit long, but they're not so long that they if I'm wearing my glasses that they'll hit the glasses. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was wearing some one day that was flap <laughs> kept hitting my glasses, and I was like, yeah, these aren't gonna work. <clears throat> not for me. They're not gonna work. Just not. No. All right, and now we will use BH Cosmetics liquid liquid uh, lip color. This color is no longer available. They don't even have any liquid lip colors anymore on BH Cosmetics. But I thought this one matched my shirt really well, so I'm going to wear it. Me and my reds, right? Mm. So what do you guys think? You like the look? Let me get up here closer. You've never worn eyelashes? Well, I don't like the glue ones. The dogs went in. Um, I don't like the ones that you have to use the glue on. And the other magnetic lashes that I used set my eyes on fire. So, uh, yeah, we're not fond of those either. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. Thoughts on the palette. I love it. I love the look. Nomad Cosmetics is absolutely hands down, I think, the best in the indie brands. Got a little bit of a problem there. Uh, <laughs> best of the indie brands. Uh, their formula is beautiful it blends well as you guys you know watched how it all blended out I think the colors in the palette and you could work with just about any color combination and it would be beautiful honestly it would be beautiful and so this one's uh, Whistler's Whistler's Lodge I highly recommend it and if you you if you go to nomadcosmetics.com and use code Bridget 10 then you will receive a discount towards your purchase it's 10%, which is usually shipping for most people. So, but it's not much. I don't. We have a problem here with the lips. <laughs> I keep getting like this line in here slip, slipping off. Anyway, um, you will get 10% off, which will it works out to $3.90, which is most of your shipping. So it's like getting shipping free. So, hello. Who doesn't like that? Uh, just saying. So if if you want any of their palettes, you can always, if you've never seen any of the other uh, palettes that I've done before, you can either check on YouTube for my previous previous uh, videos or go back through my videos that are up here. Uh, I try to name them all on Facebook, you know, what, what they were in the comment section. I didn't on this one, but I will change that once I get off. Uh, but this one, and um, Haunted Europe. 
And the Simple and Express have been my favorite so far. But I also, I did like the, the Ice Land, Fire and Ice. So, just saying. It, it's it, best on the market. Absolutely love them. Uh, you can get them on Ipsy sometimes, but there's no guarantees. Like I got my Cartagena palette on Ipsy for like 12 or 14 bucks. So it wasn't available on the site anymore or something. I don't know why, but it came up there, so I did it. Hey, Sharon. <laughs> With the terracotta pot. Well, let me put some different colored clothing on, and I'll consider it. <laughs> Actually, if, if I work that terracotta color this kind of red with these browns with the bottom row except for the blue there's browns and greens on the bottom row I could probably create a really good look out of that I could probably create a really good look with that pop of red in there so ah, we'll see I've got a I've got a really nice uh, brown shirt that my mom got me that's thermal I'll probably be wearing that over the next couple of days uh, <laughs> so we'll just say that, um, and I'll see if, see about putting another, doing another look with that. Oh no, 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 Athena, no, 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 no. She's about to pull my lighting Athena, over. Athena, come here. She's about to pull all my lights over. That would be bad. <laughs> that would be really bad. <laughs> you get her. Yeah, Athena. Yeah, see, she's got makeup on her head. <laughs> How'd you end up with makeup on your head, dog? Looks like clip color. You been in my lip color? Oh, I've been in Felissa's room. Oh. Lily's got a big red ring. <laughs> like somebody kissed her or something on the top of her head. <clears throat> my universe, people. Just, just saying. My universe. Okay. Now... <clears throat> To give a review on this product, um, it is the primer that I put on. And the reason why I'm going to go ahead and review that now is because I'm going to be honest. Honest? I don't like it. I, I don't like it for me. I'm not going to say that you shouldn't use it or, or wear it. I don't know. Maybe I used too much. Maybe I didn't use enough. I don't know. But I did not like it. It is the Rodile glass primer um, and I got it from either Ipsy or BoxyCharm or one of those anyway um, when I put it on today the first time I used it I, I used the same amount as I would use with my unique face primer Glorious and it felt like I didn't even have any primer on and it looked like I didn't have any primer on okay so next time we'll use a little bit more so today I used a little bit more and holy cow I was I was rubbing it in and I kept getting these little balls on my face that looked like you know when you got when you when you wipe your face with toilet paper and you get little balls and it was all this primer so um, I'm thinking I probably will not ever use that primer again I didn't like how it looked I didn't like even how it felt it left my fingers looked I'm sure it's the, the glass part of the glass primer it looked almost uh, like an opalescent color or a multi-chrome color on my fingers. And I was like, what is this noise? No. <laughs> now, my face didn't look like that, but no, 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 no. And so <clears throat> there you have it. We're not doing that one anymore. So anyway, uh, that, that was that. Now, I have got new fingers on, fingertips on from Color Street. And these are from their Petites collection, which I don't know if they do Petites anymore. I hope they do because they fit my fingers perfectly. The others I have to kind of cut and trim and work around and figure out, you know, <laughs> because I have long and slender fingers, but my nails are very, very small compared to other women my age and what have you. So... <clears throat> Yeah, but I love, absolutely love Color Street in general, but these, perfect fit for my nails, perfect fit. So I'm going to be looking for some uh, petites if they don't have them anymore. So anybody who's Color Street rep out here, uh, let me know if you got any in stock <laughs> that you're holding on to. 
um, because I will take those off your hands. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed our little chat tonight. I hope you enjoy the look I created. And um, definitely I'll be posting this up over on, on uh, YouTube if you want to go back and, and watch. And I, of course, I always appreciate any support that I get over there. And, uh, oh, is uh, Rebecca here? If she's not, then then hopefully she'll at least see this. But anyway, you'll inbox me. Okay, Bridget, I look forward to hearing from you. As always, we had a really nice chat earlier today, too. Um, I just, I'm a happy kind of person. And I like to present that outwardly you know, most of the time. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Thank you so much for taking part of your evening or whatever time of day it is for you to watch my video, either my live or my YouTube channel. Uh, it is so appreciated. Like and subscribe if, if you feel like this is a channel that that uh, is, is up your alley, an older woman doing colorful makeup. I mean, you know, how crazy is that? <laughs> and um, as always, if you can't be good, be careful. And if you can't make good decisions, then carry bell money because, um, yeah, you'll probably need it somewhere along the way. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Good night. I love you all dearly. <laughs> Bye.